Hi and welcome to this week's episode on Pulse8 Academy. My name is Finola and I'm from the customer success team here at Pulse8. Last week we took a look at how you can ensure that your users opt into your permissions and this week we're going to build on that by looking at a different method called permission priming that has an opt-in rate of 99%. So let's get into it. Getting access or permission from your users for the first time is critical as without this, their experience with your app could be changed completely or even rendered useless. So app will only allow you to trigger the default system permission once per feature. Today we're going to look at permission priming and what that is. So permission priming is when an app primes a user with a permission that looks just like the Apple system permission. Let's look at this in more detail. So what it does is it displays an extra screen that looks like the Apple system permission and then on it, it highlights the benefits of why they should opt in. So if the user taps OK, then they're most likely to tap OK for the actual Apple system permission as well. However, if they tap don't allow, then you, display, you delay displaying the native Apple system permission and present it at another time. So the user continues using the app and you prompt this permission again when they require access to a certain area, such as the camera, as we mentioned earlier. So when they do want access to the camera, then you display this screen again, highlighting the benefits and they're more engaged with the app and they're more likely to click OK at this stage and then OK for the Apple system permission as well. However, if they do click don't allow, you can do it again, prompt them at a later time when they look for access again. So they're never tapping this Apple system permission, which is really important. When you're writing the copy for your pre-permission prompt screens, it's important to keep it simple and non-complex so that your users understand exactly what you're asking them for. A good idea here can be to A-B split test it so you can see which explainer screen wins out over the other. It's very important to put thought and consideration into your permissions because if a user taps don't allow on the system permission screen, it's very hard to reverse that action and get them back in. They have to go into the settings screen themselves and get through it that way. So thanks for tuning in today. Please leave a comment below. You can catch us on Twitter at PulseAidHQ and make sure you've subscribed to the Academy. See you next time. It can be completely changed or even rendered useless. And this may because BB oh. <laughs> It's very hard to get them back in because they have to go through 